All right, so what's up you guys? Today I'm just gonna be showing you how to stencil a real skin arm. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so now I'm just gonna be printing out my stencil right quick and then let's prep the skin right quick. So for the fake skin, you're gonna wanna um, just clean it off with some alcohol. That is so Sorry about the printer in the back, <laughs> being dumb. Clean it off where you're gonna be applying the stencil. And then, you're gonna wanna use some, instead of using stencil stuff, and or any other stuff I use, um, just like some gel deodorant, some like speed stick or whatever. I don't have any. I don't, really have any, I don't have any speed stick right now, so I'm just gonna use this, like some generic um, gel, gel deodorant. All you wanna do is just add it to the napkin. So, you're gonna add some napkin. And just put it onto the skin. Make sure it's all around there. I do this just so I don't have like a bunch of excess. Because if you do it directly to the skin, you know, it'll be a lot. A lot of um, deodorant left on the skin. Just for the fake arm though. Not on, uh, real, not on actual human skin. I use um, actual stencil stuff and other kind for that. All right, so let's see. All right, we got it. I'm gonna just get my stencil right now. All right, here's gonna be my stencil. I use the Epson, Epson Eco Tank printer with the, the inkjet ink. So let's cut it out right quick. Now I'm just gonna put some st stress cuts. That way when it folds, it just folds on it. It doesn't have like, you know, not raised like this. You know, so it just sits flat. I'm gonna try to not cut like where the details are. You know, so like the face I can cut right here. Cause I know it's gonna raise up around here. And I just cut on here. You know, some places. Cause you know, hair is just free flowing. So you can always improvise on hair and you know, do what you wanna do. With the face, you gotta be careful, you know, because you don't wanna mess it up. Let's cut this a little bit more. Yeah, so that's how it is. Get my stress fits. Alright, let's try and stencil it now. Just get it lined up where you want it. See what you want it at. Press down, go down the middle, middle, yeah. and then just start by some. Gotta be careful that you don't move it. Well, I always have a problem with stenciling this um, thick arm. That's alright though. Alright, take two. Two. Let's do it. Let's try part three again. All right, so so I put it directly on your right. So next, just put it print. Okay. 
chance of this not getting too late. All right, we're gonna try and put some of this. I just cleaned it up with alcohol. We're gonna try to put just some of this. See if this works. Cause last time I tried it, it just it didn't work for me. So that's why I've been trying to figure out different ways to do it. So let's see. Put a generous amount. Let's see. Not too generous, you know. I'm gonna take some off anyways. After it dries a little bit. Cause it does not, the fake arm does not um, absorb it. All right, let's get the print. What is this, part three? I think it is. Let's try it again. All right, we got my stencil. Let's try it. Making sure it's not too wet. Let's try it. All right, now, let's try to cut. Let's try it again. Actually, I think it's too wet, so let's try it off a little bit. All right, now let's try. Go to the middle. Alright, so after countless tries and a bunch of paper wasted, I figured out which way was the best way to do it. As you can see, see that stencil. I finally figured it out. I'm telling you, I wasted a lot. But I mean, I did it so y'all don't have to, so y'all don't have to suffer. So it worked best for me, might not work best for you, but for me, y'all seen how I stretch cut. Everything the same, only thing is, I, I used some um, stencil stuff and I put a good amount. Like, I put a lot to it was like wet, kind of. Not like super wet, but like wet enough everywhere. And let that dry, let it sit till it became dry. Then I stick the stencil on carefully and then I peel it up slowly and this is the result. So, yeah. So that's the best, that's the best. I'd say the best, sorry I didn't get on video, but that's the best way to put it on is just, you know, basically the same as I did on all the, all the other ones, but you put this on there, let it dry, so it's like almost tacky basically, because you can put a good amount of wet, let it dry, and then you get this. Sorry I didn't get on video though. Yeah, but that's about it, so. If you have any questions, y'all can hit me up or just text me in the comments. Sorry to get on video again. All right, yeah, so that's about it. So um, the reason I showed y'all messing, there we go again. So the reason I showed y'all me messing up a couple of times is because, you know, nothing's perfect. You know, if you don't get it the first try, keep doing it, don't stop. You know, um, art should be fun, you know, so that's how you should make it like, you know, don't um, force yourself to do stuff because then it doesn't become fun no more. You know, so just draw everything freely, you know, have fun with what you got to do. So, thanks for watching. Have fun. Keep learning.